Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Camdoc. My name is Shane and I'm a final year medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. And this is my story of starting medical school. <laughs> So, let me take you back to 2014. I had just opened my A-level uh, results envelope and had a look, saw that I got the grades to get into Cambridge and knew that I was on my way to come here. Um, obviously I was delighted, um, the hard work paid off, etc. But I was a little bit apprehensive, mainly because I wasn't sure if I really was still good enough to make it in Cambridge or to even be here. What everyone says is that you're going to go to university or you're going to get into somewhere like Cambridge or Oxford etc and you're going to feel like you have just entered a huge pond and now you feel like a very small fish in a very very big pond which is not what you're going to be used to so you're going to have a hard time anyway. So that's what I was hearing and that's what I was preparing for and that's what I was expecting. However, um, it was very different to what I actually thought it was going to be because I thought everyone was going to be really smart and really intellectual and I'm just going to feel out of death. But actually I met a lot of people who were very similar to me, thought like me, um, had the same interests like me and actually when you start talking to people you soon begin to realise that uh, almost everyone in Cambridge or anywhere like Oxford, etc., feels exactly the same way to you in that sense where they don't really feel like they deserve to be here. Because everyone's like, oh damn, like everyone here is really, really smart. Um, and they just assume that everyone there is smart except you. But everyone has that assumption. Therefore, actually, you end up just creating the obstacle for yourself and the reality is everyone feels the same way that you feel. So once I figured that out and once I realised that after talking to you know, a couple of people, I calmed down, I was a lot more relaxed and I actually began begun to have fun. You know, I was, uh, it was our freshers, I had a great time you know, getting to know loads of people, however very different to freshers elsewhere, our, our freshers only lasted for like four days and then we were done. But it was fine, you know, we still got to know people relatively well and first first day of lectures came came upon us and we went in. Um, I was, you know, I was still on, on a kind of high in terms of, you know, new place, getting to know people, etc. But actually I soon realised that, you know, I am totally out of my depth here because you know, lectures started and they were like dropping all these words, you know, anatomy was our first lecture and they were dropping all these like bones and muscles and ligaments and all these business and I was like, I was just there, like, damn, like what? You just feel completely overwhelmed. On top of that, we got an email through from our HOM or physiology supervisor and he'd kind of told us to answer all these questions before we'd even had the first lecture. So we were just there, like, what? the hell, like, we don't know what's going on with half of these questions, you know, they were talking about all these kind of known potentials and physics things and we were like, what? And initially, I thought that it was just me, that I thought, actually, I don't understand whatever is going on, other people understand what's going on, and I, you know, I remember going back to my room, sitting down, looking at the handout, and looking at the questions, being like, I think I messed up here. I think I have selected the wrong uni and the uni wrongly selected me and I was I was panicking. You know, I was like, damn, like I've I've screwed screwed my life up for the next six years, I'm gonna have a miserable time. You know, I might not even make it through the six years, I might fail this year. You know, all these thoughts were going on in my head. But actually I, I calmed down, I you know started to speak to the friends that I had around me and soon realised that actually everyone felt the same way, everyone felt really out of depth and you know really kind of scared. And then we kind of sat down and worked through the questions together and like you know came up with a plan etc. And then that was fine, we, you know, we managed to navigate that relatively well because we had the support of each other and we kind of knew that everyone was going through the same process. And 
I kind of came to the conclusion from that initial feeling that I had of, damn, I'm not going to make it, that I had to work super hard and work incredibly long hours and, you know, constantly just make notes and read things and, you know, not go out, have a, have any kind of social life, etc. You know, I'll have my work and gym and then maybe a little bit of socializing at, uh, you know, at the end of the day or like at the end of the week. That's the mentality I had. And, you know, it, immediately that sounds very unhealthy and, you know, yeah, f fine, fair enough. It was a little bit unhealthy. But worst of all, it actually ended up not paying off because come our January mocks, you know, I turn up, I still feel completely unprepared, but I'd been working throughout the beginning of the year, throughout Christmas holidays, etc. And then anyway, the exams come and then, you know, I'm, I'm there, I'm like, oh, I don't actually know what's going on. You know, write whatever answers I could think of. And then results come in and actually I basically just scraped it and just scraped to pass. And I was like, damn, I've worked super hard. I've worked really hard. I don't think I could, could work any harder. And I've just managed to pass it. So actually, maybe it is true. Maybe I'm just not clever enough to be here. Maybe I'm just not clever enough to like consolidate this material or learn this in any way. But the reality was that I was actually learning it or going about learning it a very wrong way because my initial approach was read it, make my own notes, basically just copying out the handout again. And then kind of by the time I was done with that, it was time for the next lecture series to start. So I didn't have time to go back and revise it or you know actively recall it or consolidate it. I just moved on to the next thing. And, you know, that's what I did for the first term. And obviously it didn't pay off because my mock results were pretty naff. So, you know, it was apparent that I needed a change in tactic and a change of plan. <laughs>